Hello and good morning, Aaron. How are you doing today? Hello. I'm very well, thank you. Dude, I got to tell you, I've already seen the movie. I was at a premiere this past Saturday. Oh, my God. Uh, you liked it? I did like it. You know, it there, there's such a unique flavor to this book in the way that there. I mean, you're going to learn something. You're going to build something. You're you're, you're going to look at your own personal life. I mean, this is a journey. Oh, I'm so glad you you, you thought that. That's really really cool. I, I, look, I couldn't be prouder of it. I think the movie's pretty awesome. Where did the idea come from to put focus on all of the the bad guys? You know, because nobody. I mean, I, first of all, I, I I like a vulture because it keeps the planet you know clean. But but to sit there and look at a shark and a and and a wolf and and a, and a snake. I mean, I mean, come on. You know what? I, the idea initially came from the fact that I, I have two kids. One of them is uh, uh, he's fourteen now. But when he was six years old, he went through a period where he was bringing home books from school that he found so boring they would make him cry. And I wanted to do something that he would that would remedy that. I wanted to write something that he would find as fun as a video game. So he, at the time, he was into scary animals, and, of course, Australia is a place full of scary animals, so it wasn't a stretch to get to there. And I thought, well, what if I... And I, at the same time, I wanted to write a story about... I was thinking about prejudice at the time and about characters being judged because of the way they looked. And the two things clicked together, and it created this vehicle for me to, to tell these stories. And I, I genuinely feel The Bad Guys is something that I'd been looking for my whole life creatively. And that moment just opened this gigantic door for me creatively, which is somewhere that I live daily now. And, and it's, it's, you know, I couldn't be more grateful that I get to visit these characters every day. Are you going to continue it in the way that we want this story? Because we fell in love with every one of these characters. In, in I mean, and because I mean, they they can go on to become superheroes of, of of solving crimes and stuff like that. Because I I I want more of this story. The the book series is was always designed. I actually plotted it out really early up. There'll be twenty episodes <sighs> in total. Uh, yeah, that's right. The the first the where are we now? Episode fifteen, I think, really? is about to be released in the States in July, uh, but there will be five more after that. And it, it is a very complete series. It wraps up very, very um, uh, permanently at the end of the 20th episode. It's a full circle loop. And I, uh, I've been planning this for years, and I, I, I love where this character, where this story goes, and I, I hope uh, kids and audiences do too. I, I, I've got some big surprises in store for everybody. Well, I bet you there's going to be a lot of adults like myself that you know that you know because it's, it's a scholastic book and everything. But but still, we didn't know about the, the the series. That I'll bet you we're going to be jumping into it and and participating with those younger people. Uh, look, uh, the, the 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 game for me is always to find that really sweet spot between adults and kids, yep. and wanting to land there so that a book or, or and in and now the movie works on both levels, so that uh, an entire family can have a great time with it. Especially with books too, it's story time is something that is often shared by the family, by a parent and a child, and wanting that experience to be something that is you know like laugh out loud enjoyable and. I think that what's amazing about what DreamWorks have done with the movie is that they've captured that, and 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 it's it's hard. It's easier said than done. It's a really hard spot to hit that place in the center that appeals to everybody, and I, I really think they've achieved it. Well, when when you say you know it's it's really hard to hit that spot. Well, you're the writer. You're the seed. You're 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 where the imagination begins. What is that like for you to go through that experience? Uh, it, it's it, I find that's the most exciting part of my job. Mm-hmm. I. It's the bit that gets me out of bed in the morning, actually, is to, to land there and create something that, you know, like, I, I time travel my kids. Like I said, my kids are older now, so I have to time travel each morning in my head to go, okay, I'm writing this for 6 to 12-year-olds and think about my kids at that age. But at the same time, I'm trying to delight myself. And what I did with the bad guys is I took things that you wouldn't ordinarily think were for kids, like... Um, you know, like I, I took sort of the images, like the iconography from like a Tarantino movie, for instance, and I thought, well, how could you hotwire that and make that for kids? Yeah. And it seems kind of impossible, but to do that has actually created something that means I'm, I'm working in a space that not many people are working in, and that's like 
uh, it's like having a golden ticket. It's an amazing place to be because I get to um, channel all of this stuff that I love and find interesting and then find a way to make it entertaining again for families. And that's, that's like, like the coolest job in the world. I, I got to tell you, as as a sixty year old man, I mean, when I saw the the guinea pigs and as they were, you know, they were hypnotized or whatever was going on because of the meteorite. I mean, it was like I, I was in fear. I really felt fear, and I kept I kept telling myself, "This is an animated motion picture, dude." But yet, yeah, you really brought it out in your storyline. Oh, that's very cool. And look, the the story team and our screenwriter Ethan Cohen have added so much wonderful stuff to the. I mean, the, what's been delightful for me is seeing them develop this. Screenplay, uh, but as and I've been on board as a producer, executive producer. But I've been so delighted to see how much of the books is in the movie. Like if kids do love the books, then they will go along and totally recognise the world and totally recognise the characters that they like spending time with. And that is, you know, and I'm very aware because I love movies and I follow. Sort of, I'm a student of cinema history, I guess, and I'm acutely aware of all the authors who've had their hearts broken by having a studio make a not great adaptation of their books so i feel like so lucky and i wouldn't be talking to you today if i didn't love this movie <laughs> i just would have been i just would have been mysteriously unavailable uh because i i, I couldn't i couldn't do this if i didn't love it because the bad guys mean too much to me so uh, it is such a joy that they they got it so right i i just think this film is a blast Oh, and I expect more films like this from you, sir. Are, is, is there any in the wake in, in the making, or, or is that something you can't talk about? Yeah, no, there is a uh, a very big animated musical version oh. of my book, my book, Film of the Unicorn, uh, in full production at Netflix at the moment. Um, and I have another movie that I can't announce yet because the studio hasn't announced, but it's in development at another studio. And I have I'm another series of mine called Pig the Pug that is <laughs> really, popu- really popular. Well, Pig, Pig is going to be uh, a TV show. I can't give you any more details than that at the moment. But, yeah, look, there's a lot happening, and it's, it's all... Um, film and TV. Well, if people haven't read the book, and, and they, obviously they haven't seen the movie yet, but the, one one of the scenes is, is I'm living it right now by having a conversation with you. My tail is wagging, and you know exactly what I mean by that. <laughs> uh, thank you, man. It's really nice. I'm, I, I'm, so glad you, I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Absolutely. Please come back to the show anytime in the future. The door is always going to be open for you. Thank you so much. You be brilliant today, and keep writing. Keep writing. Cheers, man. I will.